It's very All slow. Right. Meeting is now streaming live. Okay. Awesome. Facebook people. Oh my gosh. I am so delighted because this is a full circle moment for me. And I'm, I'm like stalling because I'm watching and seeing if Zuckerberg is messing with us. We are <laughs> live. Anyway, <laughs> Facebook people, you know, I started in the Inland Empire of California about six, six and a half years ago, whatever. Well, I was there and I was like, I don't like telling jokes just to tell jokes. Does anybody know how <laughs> I can, I don't know, tell jokes and make veterans laugh? the will morton because he does laughs.org and i went and i wound up at a nursing home doing comedy for veterans non-veterans and guess who was there you uh -huh. guys uh -huh. mike repic dr uh -huh. mike yes yes dr. fantastic mike, oh my gosh He's that's here. like uh that's that's a great yeah, place that's a great place to start here today i met him and i Huh? That's a great place to start. <laughs> That's a great, great what? place to start. You can talk. All right. Can you hear me? Internet. Let's. I think I'll talk. What? No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm just. A, I'm just a little slow. I'm a little. My technology isn't as fast as yours. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the craziest time in our life, and then we have technology too. Like crazy. Yeah. Nice to see you, Linda. You're looking. You're looking good. You're looking good. Thank you. You know, Mike Repic supplied me with an intro. I, I, you know, he's on the internet and I found he's a writer and an actor and a comedian and he's a veteran of the military. He's a U.S. Marine Corps. And yes. don't, you, you th don't you for a minute call him a baby killer because I was in the army <laughs> and I didn't, it wasn't until way after the army that I had my abortion. So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> call him, don't trigger me, you guys. I'm a veteran with PTSD. Leave the military alone. <laughs> right? Oh, yes, 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 ma'am. <laughs> so here's a little of his intro. It says, he was born and raised in the cool, re he's so good at writing, born and raised in the cool regions of Northern Pennsylvania. After high school, Mike Repic pursued a lifelong passion for short haircuts, harsh discipline, <laughs> and traveled to exotic, exotic lands by joining the Marine Corps winding up in the Persian Gulf. <laughs> yes. After yes. discovering that people who gave shots had more, <laughs> This is the best written intro, you guys. Go on the bash.com and look <laughs> up Dr. Mike's intro. It's so cool. I'm not going to take up all our time while we're having internet issues between us. Dr. Mike, Mike Repic, welcome to Comic Spot. Yay! Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's it's uh it's great. It's great to be here. Uh, it's nice to see you. Nice to be with you. Uh, thanks for inviting me. It's just nice to nice to see you. I'll freeze too. Uh, my freezing. Here it comes. All right, there we are. There we are. Yes. It's amazing how in Los Angeles, the you know the the the, the freeze rate in Los Angeles is horrible. Absolutely. What's been going on in your life since well, I met you? Yeah, it's interesting. So, I was. Still grinding. I, I mean, we're doing comedy. That was, um, I did a couple more shows with Will. Great group of people, I mean, yourself included. Um, doing other comedy shows, uh, Los Angeles, moving around a little bit. Um, did, did a few trips to Arizona. And it was, I also go up to Bakersfield in Bakersfield quite a lot, quite a lot of time in Bakersfield. So, Everything was fine. It was it was actually um, picking up pretty good until the apocalypse hit. Um, once the apocalypse hit, like everyone else in the comedy world, things kind of slowed down. However, um, what I chose to do, um, not every day, but at least two or three times a week, I'll go out. <laughs> I go out to my yard and make a video and practice. Basically, like practice comedy practice some of the stuff i already have uh mess around with some new ideas 
um, you know, silly, getting a little more silly, getting a little more um, physical, I guess, without being like not the Three Stooges level. So I kind of kept busy doing that. Um, still, still kind of working, seeing patients. Not we can't see patients like we used to, but um, online, talk to some people online. And writing, writing a little bit, and I'm also working on a new. I'm working on a new component to the comedy, and it, it's for right now. The working title will be hassle free, hassle free health advice. So, along with uh, comedy, uh, I want to offer some hassle free health advice. Um, it's kind of geared towards people who maybe aren't going to join a gym or or going to be a crossfitter and also aren't going to be making huge changes. So I want to take it from that angle. And it's all serious, very serious right now. And then, and then I'll eventually combine that with some humor if, if it's there. So that's, that's what we're working on. Um, what, what else? I did get to go on a, on a few trips with comedy. Uh, there's a, um, there's a wine, a wine vineyard comedy tour. I don't know if you've heard of this. Uh, a gentleman out of New York runs a lot of wine locations across. The, I'm sure up in Oregon there's some. And I got the got the privilege to work with a good friend of mine, Jonathan Gregory. He's out in Phoenix. Um, he took me along to two show uh, in Colorado. So it was an outdoor show. You can only have so many people, but it was still it was still fun. Um, so we got to do some live comedy in a vineyard. Outdoors. I wonder if that was that whole thing frozen. Yeah, it was a little bit frozen when you said wine tours. Now you look good. Uh, now it looks did good. I go through? Okay, everything went I heard through. The wine, I heard the wine tour part. Yeah, we got to do um, got to do a little bit of live, but not um, you know, it's limited. They are only allowed to have so many people, and they spread them out. But it was fun, and um, and they were happy. It was. Uh, I mean, I can't predict. Everyone's trying to predict what's going to come about with comedy once you know we're back to normal. But it did seem like the people they were just happy to be there. They were really happy to have a live show. Um, it was in a kind of a well spread out area in a small town in Colorado. So it was fun. It was just fun to get back out there and you, and you, it's fun. Like I'm sure you had the same experience. Like you were working on a day to day basis. You do one show now, then you want to go back out tomorrow and do it again. But, uh, you just can't do it like that anymore. No. Yeah. Have you partaken in a lot of zoom shows or not really? Um, a few. Yeah, I did a few. Um, I didn't, I didn't get too, I wouldn't say I like them or dislike them. I just didn't um, didn't get into them as much. That was just my choice. Uh, I did one. I did one. It was um, with a friend of mine. It was a um, one of those. You ever have you ever done those um, set list like a set list? So you would go on there. I'd say, okay, Linda, Linda, you're next. Here's five words. You know, a car, bargain um legato and halloween and and then you got to run with those words so that was that was kind of fun that is fun that's a great exercise too yeah and it was initially it was i think it was initially it was popular and then i was i was i supported a lot watched a lot of shows and then and then I started getting more involved with making videos, making silly videos, kind of like my own work. I tape myself, you know how that goes. You cringe and you're like, oh, but I have gotten used to, I, got, I tolerate watching myself on videos in order to improve and to just discover new ideas. Um, it can be painful. It's not something I share with every, you know, it's not like, hey, look at this great video. It's just, it's just me in the backyard. ways and and coming up with new ideas and timing but um that's that's what i chose to do to kind of get through to yeah. keep to keep 
kind of keep in shape, keep in comedy shape. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Have you have you done have you done um, any chance to do any type of live shows? I'm sh- I'm sure you're on the internet doing shows, or wh- what's going on with you? I got invited on four live shows here in Vegas during oh, wow. the pandemic, and all of them I was promised everybody was going to wear masks, mm-hmm. and none of them were. Oh, okay. So I'm done. Stick a fork in me. I'm done for now until I feel that it's safe for me to be inside a closed place with other people and God knows what they've been doing. Right, right. I got you. I'm out. And so I've been doing a lot on Zoom with mics and shows. And because Mm -hmm. of interviewing people, I've been invited on podcasts and shows like crazy oh nice just, nice nice like, what was um so what was some of the uh what was the funniest moment i'm sure you have a lot of them like what was some of the funniest moments you've had on the on this internet journey you're on now what what sticks out tell me a funny story oh my gosh okay so see the guy behind me sinbad yeah yeah on yeah the poster mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so everybody says how did you get an interview with sinbad and like I can take that. You're Linda Smith, <laughs> like you're like you're Linda Smith, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm nice. Have you tried being nice? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Just ask or just ask, right? Yeah. So I, you know, I finally got a hold of him. We had him and I had talked on uh, Twitter when Twitter first came out. I'd send him a joke, and he'd tell me it was horrible, and. And we would banter. All the celebs would talk to nobodies back then. Mm-hmm. And he would he he talked to me about you know I was thinking about comedy. And so when I started doing the interviews, I said, "Hey, do you remember me from Twitter?" And he said, "Yep." Wow. Oh. I'm a, a TB. Yeah, I, my mm-hmm. handle was TBI and PTSD veteran. And he remembered it because he's a veteran. And uh, so. I said, I'm doing this little show. Do you want to come on? He goes, let's do it. Let's make it happen. And I was like, so excited. Wow. And then nice. Nothing. Nice. Oh, for months, for months, mm-hmm. like we're in the world. He said, and then nothing, you know? And so I said, I, I was, I was told that he was going to come on, but I'm sorry. I'm not hearing anything back. And somebody said, I know him. I'll get to him. And so, um, so I got get this mm-hmm. message that, so Sinbad said, contact my executive secretary. Here's her email. So I get a hold of her. He said, I said, I don't care if I only get two minutes with him, right? Mm-hmm. Who cares, right? And uh, he gave me, he promised two minutes and he got on there and talked for 41 minutes and 54 seconds. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, once you get in there, once you get him in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the charm. You got the, well, you're interesting. You're you're um you're doing a great thing. You get a you know you get um someone on there. You get him expo- Well, he doesn't. Sinbad, Sinbad. He doesn't need. <laughs> I guess he's not like um considered. Uh, exactly. Yeah, he's established. He's well established. No, it's nice. That's nice. So what else? What else have you been oh up gosh. to? Every goes that was a. Um. What um. I I. Uh... I miss you. I miss you. Go ahead. Go ahead. So what else, what else is, is on your, what's on your plans? You're, you're, where where are you? You're in Las Vegas now? Yeah. And you were in Oregon. I I was born and raised in Portland. My daughter and I lived in SoCal and then she and I went our separate ways and I now live in Vegas. I've lived in New York three times. I hate living in Portland. I only live there because I know where everything is and it's easy, not because that's where I fit there growing up, but my city has been turned upside down. Like, yeah, on yeah, its head. yeah. So like, I don't fit there anymore. So I'm kind of a New York serious comedy writer and Vegas is good because the people here, all the comics love me, you know? And so that's been getting to know these comics and I'm an exercise nut. So I like going walking and going to the gym and, that's yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um, that's interesting. So, part of what I'm a huge fan of now, uh, from a personal experience, it's funny you say that. 
is I was working out, but I had back pain, you know, like typical kind of annoying back pain. And long story short, the, the, the trick for me was to get my glute muscle stronger. So get the butt muscle stronger. And it's funny you bring that up about walking. So like one of the things I always promote as a, as a physician is, is something so simple. Well, I mean, you got to do the work, but if anything, like get your butt muscle stronger. It's, it's, um, it sounds yes. like you're, you're already there. Like that is, is huge. We kind of know that, but sometimes you need to be reminded that, um, doing some, um, makes a big difference as, as we, uh, mature, you know, <laughs> like, like you, um, uh, the scientifically wise, like your motion, your ability to do side to side, mo any type of nonlinear motion. And I mean, getting up, getting down, those little things you take for granted. It's all in the butt. I mean, no pun intended. Uh, it's all in the butt, like getting that, uh, keeping the legs moving and simple stuff like that. So it's nice you brought that up because that's kind of what I like to talk about. Just simple um, you know, keep it, if you're, if someone's already in a gym trying to be an Olympic athlete, they don't really need, you know, they're already there for the rest of us, normal people that aren't, you know, super, super working out, eating kale. Um, you know, these little things add up. It could be something you could do. It's so simple. You can make your life a better place in a, in a few years. So yeah, kudos but, uh, to you. So kudos you know to you. <laughs> Yeah, bring down the percentage body fat. That's been my goal for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, uh, yeah, you look like you're not you're not struggling there, though. You look like you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, but the pandemic is playing havoc with body fat for people. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Um, those people that are, you know, exercise uh, fanatics, they'll find a way. They get out there and do stuff anyway. But the, but the people that are in between, yeah, it's tough because um, some po some people love going to the gym, love going to gyms. That was their way out to get exercising. Um, and some people just don't like to go out and for safety reasons. So, yeah, it, it is tough. It is tough. It is. So what's your favorite thing to do when you're not being Dr. Mike and not being a comedian? Ian. Um, so right now I am, this is super exciting. Um, no pun intended. I am studying chess, which is, um, exciting for me. It's not, it's pretty boring for the rest of the, uh, so I'm doing chess. I play a lot of chess. Uh, you can play online now. There's a lot of, um, a lot of, as a, as a websites, you get international. So you could play around the clock, anybody all over the world. I take some lessons on the internet with that. Um, um, and then I study, um, study languages, studying Spanish. So I have like a pretty regular tutoring online, like a, like a language tutor once, uh, twice a week. And then she gives me homework to do during the week and then just being here i mean being here in in los angeles and in up in bakersfield um every time i go out i get to practice so it's it's fun i i enjoy i enjoy improving my spanish and one day i've done it a little bit already but one That's day cool. um yeah, one day I I'm pretty sure pretty soon if I stick with it I, I want to do a whole act in Spanish. Um, I'll have to get some help with that, but uh, that'll be fun. This is where you're going to use your Spanish eventually. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not That's sure. I who knows? Maybe um um maybe I can perform i i love to perform in other countries where you know where spanish is the uh the mother tongue and be able to speak well enough that i could do the show in spanish that'd be kind of fun not there yet not there right now but that's you that's mean, a work Mike, I, yeah 
I want to know if you plan on, have you done Armed Forces Entertainment for the troops? No, no, I've never, um, yeah, I've never, um, I've never been in a spot to do that. I've never, I don't know. I've never, I, I've never asked anyone to perform yeah. there. I've never been asked, but I don't, I don't know like what the, um, you know, the process is to get on that. I, I'd love to, I would love to, it would be, that'd be a blast. Hit, do you know who Johnny Cardinale is in LA? No, I mean, I might probably. Do you know Johnny Cardinale? I could write that down. He, he books tours, you could hit him up. Johnny have Cardinale. You, have you done that? No, I want to. And Willie C. Clifton, he does comedy tours for the military. He does them stateside. Johnny goes internationally. Yeah, yeah, I know Will. I actually, I know Will. I, I did a show with Will once. And uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. He's in Kansas City, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is will do. Will do kind of at the part where I want to give you a chance to talk to people and tell them any, tell people anything you want them to know that you want their support online, or if you have merchandise, or if you want to give out your PayPal, if you want donations, or you want them to donate to a cause, anything you want to talk about. You can oh, wow. Talk no, it's interesting. Um, I would do this. I would say this. Um, I don't have, yeah, my, I'm, I'm developing a website, so I don't have, the, I, I don't have a landing place to go. Um, what I can ask is, is, um, as a, as a fellow human, stay as healthy as you can. I will have a, um, a landing place I could share with you for people to go. If anyone out there is in a spot where you're interested in any type of entertainment that has a little bit of a little bit of hassle-free health advice, um, hit me up through hit me up through you. I'm on Facebook uh, as we as where we are now, and as soon as I do have a website set up, um, I'll share that with you. But if anyone needs some hassle-free health advice that can implement right away, as long with some um, <laughs> some medical humor uh hit me up it's 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 fun to do perfect awesome. and i'm sorry about the delay so, it's like i have i have the i have the worst um technology i wish i wish i did it i'm sorry about that linda i'm not sure it's on your end it might be on both our ends uh, it's like as we say we like no What'd you say? That it's me. It's as as we always say. It's me. It's not you. Yes. Are we breaking up now? I know. Um, no, actually, no. We're pretty good. We're pretty good right now. <laughs> no, I um. So much. No, no. Thank you. And uh, if I'm ever in Vegas, I will. Um, I'll hit you up ahead of time. No, thank you so much, Linda, and yes. stay healthy. Yes, and come back on and promote anything you want. I, know I you will. I will. I will. You're a writer and an actor and a comedian and a doctor. Anything. Anytime anything. Anytime you want to come back and promote, let me know. All right. All right, Linda. Thank you so anything. much. Yes, anything. Come back on and promote anytime. Will do. Will do. Stay healthy, my friend. Thank you. Bye, Mike Repic. Thank you. I'll put some words on here about how much I adore you, and I'll make sure people watch it. Oh, thanks, so Linda. You can see this post with. See you, you later. Are